Um, but what really geared up my uh, want to start this organization was I was finishing up my MSW internship last year. And in January, we really found some huge gaps coming from the community about where they could go to access inpatient treatment services, um, especially from folks who were trans, gender nonconforming, non-binary. And while we were working through this as an organization in June of last year, um, a client that I had been working with for so many months passed away from an overdose. And they were a client that I would label as having a lot of privilege, right? They had a support system, great family support system, social support system. They had the ability financially to go to different treatment centers and services that were not just within their insurance bracket. Um, and they also identified as non-binary. And every single time they went into treatment, were discriminated against, you know, were placed in either a male or female binary setting, which if you're non-binary, that's the literal antithesis of your identity. Um, and they stopped going into treatment and they lost their life because of it. So I thought to myself, if we are seeing this gap and no one's doing it, then we'll just do it. And that is kind of where Caller City Pride came from. 